Hi folks, I'm going to be doing a rather on the hop recording because I came across this rather on the hop. I was on the internet uh, and I was looking for something else and a pop up came up and it's not a malicious one of course it's a, it was an actual like a suggestion type one and it was not from a malicious source so I clicked it and it it linked me to a eBay page where uh, this guy was selling the TGF Childish Hoodies the first design and I thought, mm, aye aye, who's slinging the other? But it actually, um, it was actually genuine. I took a punt and it had arrived. And it is a real McCoy, there's absolutely no doubt about it. Uh, I'll tell you for why in a few minutes into the video. But yes, it's actually, you know, for the price as well, £25. Right, and I looked at it and went, £25 quid for a TGF hoodie, I can win, don't play with the other one, kind of thing. And in actual fact, it is genuine. And it comes with a, a wee little uh, gifts that a TGF would include. And here it is down here. And this is a sticker. I don't know if it's an iron-on one or, or one you put on the back of the laptop. I'm assuming the back of the laptop, right? And everything all stacks up the same way. The graphics stack up the same way. Uh, and also, I'm going to do the unveiling. Right, I've got this in a, uh, not a massive one, a large. And there's a back graphic for the back of the t-shirt. Ready? I mean, right, and that's the exact graphic that is on the TGF hoodie you would find any, anywhere else. There's no, there's no question about its authenticity. And the letter styling is exactly where, what I found it originally uh, on the TGF website. Um, so the graphics on the, the actual, what's it called, the sleeves is right and if you're really wanting to get proper finickety about this scenario um, it's exactly the same feel and if we hold on a wee nanosecond or two I'll pop my uh, pop my hoodie on so yeah uh, I was pretty fucking buzzed for this 25 quid. I remember my last hoodie, which is a up to date design. The up to date design was a fucking. It was eye watchingly pricey. And when I seen this ad originally, I thought, ah, someone's pulling the funny one. You know, but in actual honesty. <sighs> right. <sighs> Typical ka, emo slash hipster mode I did there, do you see it? Right, and if we want to can I zoom on the graphic. Right, and maybe if I can get the camera perched, you'll see how, uh, how it is. Actually, I might be able to, so... And it's a bit looser than the last one. I think I've got that other one in medium. This is a large. It's quite nice and baggy, I can tell you that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be wearing it next day or two because the weather's so abjectly surreal. 
I'm not too sure if, if I'd be wearing it and still cold or not. That's the kind of uh, same scene you see at the Exorcism film, uh, what I'm pointing the camera at. But I, oh gosh, the camera tried to hang itself. <laughs> I'm that bad. Anywho, yeah, uh, quality is fantastic, fits me lovely. Uh, graphics are good, authentic. There's no questions about authenticity. I don't know if the uh, eBay seller had bought a syndicate batch of these and he's wondering, you know, how to shift them. Uh, the best way to shift them uh, would be uh, sell them at £25 a pop. I mean, this original uh, design is amazing. But anywho, yeah, buzzed.